Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up Apple Pay on iPhone 17 Pro or 17 Pro Max. If you'd like to set up your Apple Pay, you will need to go to Wallet App, which if you don't have, you can simply go to the App Store and search for Apple Wallet. But I already have it, so I don't need to search for it, I can just open it. And now you can see there is the wallet. Now if you'd like to add a card, click on plus in the top, then select debit or credit card. Now click on continue. Now you can place your iPhone on the physical card, it'll read it from the NFC chip or enter card details manually. In some countries, before that, it'll ask you for the bank, for the card issuer. Uh, but I don't know what region is set here, it didn't ask me for that, so I guess that's fine. Now let's try uh, getting um, the card entered. So I'm gonna get back to you when I enter the card number. Remember about entering the name as well. Now I have approved it and we can go further. Uh, let's enter the expiration date. Uh, and let's also enter the security code. Approve and let's go further. Let's see if it really um okay yeah it said invalid card and i think that that's most likely because i have a wrong region set so i'm just gonna quickly get to the settings and i'm gonna get to the general and let's go to uh, um the language and region and yes the region is strong i'm in poland currently so i'll need to use um, the Polish region. Okay, now let's go to the wallet. Let's click on plus and let's click on debit or credit card. Yeah, now there are different banks available. I'll need to select add a different card, then click on continue and enter my card details manually. By the way, uh, for some banks, like for example Revolut, it'll actually require you to download the Revolut app in order to add it from the Revolut app instead of entering the card details manually. But you'll probably see it on your screen, so yeah. Now I'm gonna select uh, the expiration date again and the uh, security code. Let's try adding the card. Yeah, okay, now let's agree to the Apple Pay terms and it'll most likely, when it adds it, ask me for um, the verification. Yeah, I'm gonna verify with my email and now I'm just gonna get my verification code and I'm gonna get back to you. Okay, now with the code, let's approve it and let's go further. You can see the card is activated. I'm gonna go through that and yeah, it's there. So now I'm gonna quickly explain how to use uh, the Apple Pay. So you can use it in most stores as long as your as Apple Pay is available in your country. Um, so like in most countries in the world, uh, you will be able to use it. Uh, and um, in most stores. Uh, I think in like European countries it's available everywhere. In United States on the other hand there are some stores that it's unavailable in including uh, including the um, Walmart. In Walmart it's unavailable because they really want to know your data that Apple doesn't share using Apple Pay. So that's why they don't allow uh, Apple Pay. But in other countries, it's most likely available uh, everywhere. And in the United States, it's still available in most stores, I think. So um, yeah, now to pay with it, you can either double click on the side button, then verify with your Face ID. If you have Face ID set up, which is the face recognition on your iPhone, or if you don't have it set up, click on pay with passcode and enter your phone's passcode. Now it'll tell you to hold the phone near the reader and it'll pay.
That's how it works. You can also use Apple Pay on websites if you'd like to pay for something on a website. And then it is gonna be very simple. All you need to do is simply、um, go to the website that allows it,、uh, then select Pay with Apple Pay. It'll show a prompt on the bottom of your screen with selected card. And maybe even if you select Express Checkout, it'll show you your delivery address that you can quickly select from the list of your saved delivery address on your,、uh, addresses on your iPhone. So it's gonna be just easier、uh, that way instead of entering it manually. <clears throat> and then when everything is correct, if you've, have, if you've selected the correct card and stuff like that, double click on the side button and pay. And I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.